What's up guys, that really goes guy here and we are back with another Tenogen Spotlight. Once again we are showing off a Grax skin by Favin PS or Faven. And this is the current default coloration and I think it's alright. I think it's I think it's not too bad, but we're gonna roll through some of the colorations that I came up with, and by I came up with I mean pretty much randomized and actually really liked. But First off, uh, we randomized this nice, uh, pretty pink uh, coloration, and I think it actually fits really well. I feel like there's a really cool theme behind this frame, which I will talk about here in a second. But for the most part, a little bit feminine, but I mean, it, it is Ember after all, so. But you see Ember running through here, just kind of gunslinging it. So now is probably a good time to talk about her theme and her design. Now I'm no seamstress, but over on her sides she has this really cool pattern going on here and sorry I don't know exactly what material that would be made out of. Like I said, I'm not a seamstress, but that pattern is cool. It looks like some sort of bodysuit that's incorporated or maybe even stitched into this frame. And I don't know about you guys, but this helmet is fantastic. That really sick illuminated blade that's on her helmet is pretty awesome. Now with all Grag skins, you're getting some kind of pattern on the frame itself, and Ember uses this pattern to kind of create the flames that you would expect with a Ember frame. Now I know that everybody isn't necessarily in love with the Grenier aesthetic, but this frame uh, takes that Grenier aesthetic and creates its own personal touch uh, with the flames itself rather than just a random pattern that most Grenier have on their on their armor. With that said, that specific pattern goes really really well with white in my opinion. If you have a base white frame and you have some accents such as pink or maybe blue, maybe even green, uh, whatever you feel is a good accent on your frame. Uh, obviously you get to create your own design but like I said, it is a great accent on a white base frame, which you will see here in a white and blue based ember. And this one is fantastic. I really, really like it. Now, sticking with the Grenier aesthetic, I decided to use the Kuva Guardian weapons, which are the Twin Roga, as well as the Kasheg, and also runs the Javlock. She has this really cool polearm slash spear combo going on which I also think looks fantastic especially the way they group up on her back. For this reason I left her back pretty much empty no cyandanas or anything. I really really like her clean look. Now if you want to stick with the Grenier aesthetic you could very easily use the Jatuk uh, cyandana or the Jetpack by Master Noob or you can stick with the Grax Spitfire Cyandana by Faven, who also created this skin, so it would go really, really well. Of course, if you do not want to stick with the Grenier theme, you are more than capable of using any other Cyandana you think goes well with this skin. So now that I've said all that, I want to get into her design and her theme that I've come up with. So I want to keep this as spoiler-free as possible, so I'll basically just say that after the War Within and everything that happened with the Twin Queens, I want to imagine that the younger queen was kind of frustrated with the outcome and as revenge on the Tenno, as well as her frustrations with the failure of the Kuva Guardians, decided to go out and acquire her own frame and start to accomplish her own agenda. This frame is responsible for all the executions of Grenier that the queen is not happy with as well as any Steel Meridian defectors, anytime she needs the corpus dealt with, or an infestation to eradicate, she utilizes this frame to do so. Now you see the accents on this frame when it comes to the Kuva Braid, which is on the Kisheg as well as the attachments. She strictly uses the Kuva weapons, as well as the Javlock, and not just dedicates herself, but also admires the Queen. So with all that said, I think we are good to go. Uh, thank you Faven PS for making such a fantastic skin. Uh, more Tenogen coming up here shortly. I have a couple ideas in mind for the next Tenogen skin, and I also may be doing just a 
quick look at a Cyandana here shortly, which is going to be paired with one of my new rebuilds of warp, one of my Warframes. So this is my third Tenogen Spotlight, so make sure if you have not checked out the first two, go ahead and do that. The first skin was a Voltcrack skin made by Faven as well, as well as the Kadudo Excalibur skin by Hitsusan. Stay tuned for more Warframe content. We are so close to the fan channel program, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, guys. Blah!